64,000 people died of an opioid overdose in 2016. Well, I want to know who those people are. Why did they die? How did we get there? My name is Dan Ciccaroni, and I am the principal investigator of the Heroin in Transition study. I've been doing street-based drug use and medical consequence research for about 18 years. We've talked with uh, parents that have lost children. Uh, I've talked with a gentleman in a uh, small town in West Virginia who's lost half of his high school class to pills and heroin. The level of death and despair that's going on in certain parts of the country is unfathomable. I have a crackerjack team from around the country of ethnographers and we go to cities like Baltimore and Philadelphia, we go to small towns in Massachusetts and West Virginia, and we talk to users. We talk to people who are most affected by the heroin epidemic and who have organic, if you will, or indigenous insights into what's it all about. We've talked to young people, people that are new, that don't understand quite yet the drug that they're using. People don't know in any given injection uh, or every, any given drug purchase exactly what they're getting. So it's a bit of Russian roulette that's going on out there. The research is truly as real as it gets. We've gone into buildings, for example, in Philadelphia or Baltimore that are simply not fit for human habitation. Uh, there's evidence of drug use, there's evidence of incredibly poor hygiene, there's evidence of, of uh, sexual activity that goes on. Um, the reason why we go to these abandoned buildings, to these natural settings where people uh, aggregate to do their drugs is because one, we're trying to keep it real, but also because we actually want to see the intimate use of the drugs. We want to watch from drug preparation uh, through the making of the solution, to bringing it up into the syringe, to injecting it. Um, we want to document the entire thing to look for micro practices that might be risky. To understand those risk factors might then translate into epidemiological research or translate into a public health intervention. I'm showing my interest in them as a real person going through their day and they just naturally open up and tell us stuff. And that stuff we hope to turn into papers, turn into tweets, turn into news feeds, turn into political action and policy changes that will change the opioid crisis as we see it.